Hey guys, you know what I just realized? I don't have a video that shows how to save your SHSH blobs using Tiny Umbrella. I, well, I do have one for the Apple TV, but not one in general for the iPhone, the iPod, the iPad, things like that. So I thought that was just kind of bizarre. So I want to use this opportunity to show you how you can save your SHSH blobs using Tiny Umbrella and some of the features of Tiny Umbrella. Notice this advanced tab here. That is what we're going to work under. And then on the left side, you have a list of all your previous connected previously connected and connected devices. Here you have the SHSH directory that can be changed. I actually recommend you change that to a directory where you can easily find your blobs. So I chose the desktop, a folder on the desktop. And then also this request SHSH from Cydia, that is a biggie there. Um, if you uncheck that, you will request your SHSH blobs from Apple. If you keep that checked, you request them from Cydia. So that is a, an important thing to remember there. So. Now again, Tiny Umbrella, one of the nice parts about this program is that you can save previously connected devices. You can still save the SHSH blobs using previously connected devices. You don't even have to have the device connect if it was recently connected. So let me just show you, I have the iPad here, and that is a recent device. It isn't connected now, but let me show you how I can save my blobs here. So I just click Save SHSH, and now you should see a little spinning wheel next to the iPad and you see the SHSH blobs starting to populate the folder that I've designated right here for Tiny Umbrella. So there they are folks. And since I checked the box to request SHSH from Cydia, you'll notice that the blobs I have saved here are for firmware that Apple is no longer signing. So that's really the cool part about this. Now let's get the firmware from Apple. I'm going to Click on Save SHSH with Request SHSH from Cydia Unchecked. Now this will just get what Apple is signing uh, and it'll take it directly from Apple. So if Apple's not signing it, you're not going to see it in here when you click this. Um, so you see all the beta firmwares for iOS 5 in there and iOS 4.3.5, of course, since they're still signing that. So now I'm doing my iPod Touch and it's requesting the SHSH from Apple. But now let's choose it from Cydia and save. And along with all those beta firmwares that came from Apple, you'll notice iOS 4.3.3, which of course has the untethered jailbreak. So that one is an important one to hang on to. All right, so let's go ahead and plug in the iPhone now. I'm gonna plug my iPhone in and just go ahead and get all the blobs for all my devices here, except my Apple TV. So I have the phone plugged in. Now let me go ahead and unplug it. As you see, I unplugged it and it's in the recent devices section. That's what I like about Tiny Umbrella is because even if you don't have it plugged in, you can still get your SHSH blobs. So I'm going ahead and save those from Apple. And of course, it'll pull in all the beta firmware um, that Apple is still signing. And now I'm going to request them from Cydia. And you're going to pull in a ton here because I've had this iPhone 4 ever since launch. Um, so, well, not exactly since launch, but maybe a month after launch. So all the old firmware from 4.0.1 to 4.0.2, 4.1, etc. you want to find in there. So there's tons of different firmware that you'll find. Um, so yeah, that's how you use Tiny Umbrella, folks. And I recommend that you save all these off to uh, you know a designated folder. Um, they're small files, but they are instrumental in downgrading your firmware if you ever plan on doing that in the future. And also, if you're using the latest version of Red Snow, the Red Snow Beta, you can actually stitch these blobs directly in with your IPSW firmware files for a standalone downgrade option, which is super cool. So I highly recommend you check that out. Tiny Umbrella is a free download. Folks, let me know what you think in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.